So wait, wait, we gotta do the intro. Hey, on Amateur Brews today, we are doing the Spotted Cow from New Glaris. Glaris. Glaris Brewing Company. Company. Uh, Out of uh, New Glaris, Wisconsin. Is a Wisconsin uh, Wisconsin specialty. Yes. So you can uh, only get it in a few counties around Wisconsin, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Don't quote uh, me on that. My one of my coworkers who is from Wisconsin went up. I don't even remember how long. A couple weeks ago, and uh, he's a fan of the show, so he grabbed us a couple of bottles to drink because oh, we just got open one or. No, we're drinking both. Oh yeah, oh, of course no. we're drinking both, but um, no, one no, each case. And he bought, brought it specifically for us to uh, review. So, so this is one a... of one of my best friends, Hannah Crawford, which I don't know if you're watching this, but yeah, um, for New Year's this past year, she actually gave me a few of these and a couple other uh, local brewery or do a it, couple other it, beers from local do it, breweries. Do it. Do it and then like finish around where she lives in Wisconsin, where she's from in Wisconsin, and just just seeing this, I am quite excited. Yes. We might have some of that today with the beer that I brought. With those, with the nitro cans, I learned very quickly, if they are straight out of the fridge, ice cold, yeah. when you crack them, they'll sit for about 10 seconds, and then they'll start geysering out of the top. I have not had it well, happen with a single other nitro beer. Other except than for the Boddington's? Other than oh, Boddington's okay. is the only one. So... Do we even have a percentage? Somewhere. It's no. an ale. Only, so it is only in Wisconsin. It says that on the bottle. Um, I believe I've had, like I said, I believe I've had this before. I believe my old, uh, I used to work at <coughs> the local grocery store. Local. Uh, I used to work at High V. I I used to work in the liquor uh, department. I believe my old manager gave me a um, bottle of this at one point in time. Alright. And I don't remember whether or not I liked it. The ARB will be uh, right down here um, somewhere. Um, after I, I find it <laughs> on the amazing internet. Oh, yeah. Do we have any? Dude, I'm not finding shit on there. Lots of barley. Not unless you want to read water. the. Uh... Oh no no, that's just a beautiful statement saying yes. how it's employee owned and operated. Yes. Which is how beer company. All right, I get. I get beer and citrus. Yeah, you know. Mm. Mm. A little bit hot. You know what I get? Memories. Yeah. I get memories. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> well, we know how Dayton feels about it. Yep. Oh. You know, I, I like goodness. it. His, his cinnamon uh, sums it up perfectly. I don't even know if I want to talk about it. I just want to. I was saying, Elizabeth had one complaint about our episodes. What? Too much blank time, or we're not talking about anything. Yeah. That happens sometimes. It's hard to talk when you have beer in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, otherwise... Uh, I like this one, though. Try to edit it out, but... Uh, I mean, then it just starts getting choppy, so I'm like, well, you can kind of see the yeah. facial expressions, and... Uh, yeah, I'm a massive Spotted Cow fan. I, you know what? Oh, I, I am a... I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It comes with a nice, light, almost un... Close to unfiltered hey, color. Hey, 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 hey. Have either of you had this before? I think no. I, I think I have. Like I, I was just saying, I think my before. old manager gave me a bottle of it. Now you all probably understand why I was so excited to see you pull this out <laughs> of the fridge. <laughs> pull out of the fridge from uh, Mr. Matthew. Thank you. Thank I'll have you. you on someday before you move back to Wisconsin. And then when you do move back to Wisconsin, shit, they owe me some. Oh, yeah. some cheese. <laughs> Spotted oh, cow and cheese, please. Cheese curds. Mm. Yeah. Is that a 
that makes me want that, that makes me want poutine. Have either oh, of you had poutine? I've had poutine. Oh. I have not. Well, would you consider the the potato stretch from Wolf's Head Tavern a poutine? <laughs> I, I, you know what? I say poutine. That's the closest thing we could get to probably poutine without, without being, being poutine. poutine. Yes. Oh, dude, um, you would have loved it. You gotta have the. Spe- if I remember correctly, you have to have specifically the squeaky cheese curds. The like. Okay. So. So. Okay, we're it's a little different on here. Think about it. So. You won't ever be able to have this dish because the tavern closed. Right, it was well, what the fuck? Uh, I believe it was uh, <laughs> I believe it was diced fried red potatoes, an egg. I believe it's supposed to be over easy or sunny side up. I don't yeah, something which right. one. It was something right. Yeah, um, I'm about it. Uh, white gravy, about it. Chili. Mm. Yeah, you know what? People do chili and on like chili and gravy on hash browns all the time. Chili, and, I don't, um, I don't get it. Quite but, frankly, but it's a thing. Um, but you remember it? Yeah. That was a good fucking dish. It, on, on the I nose, it sounds like it would be awful. But then I think more about it and think about people that put sour cream and stuff like that in their chili. Mm-hmm. You're in the, the Midwest. Dairy, the dairy, yes. yes, yes. That is by far the most Midwest dish because it's just no, no, no. I think sums up Midwest is ranch on pizza. That is a Midwestern thing, right there. Yeah, I was or ranch like, in general, no, or slide or through. Let ranch me make, in general, or slide through and let me make y'all some spicy ass Venezuelan chili. Mm. That, that sounds good. You cut your venison with a uh, pork Actually, trim instead of beef fat. Mm, it gives this, it like a bacon. Th- oh my goodness. This is not so much a Midwest <laughs> thing, but it is definitely a, I would say, more of a Southern thing, which we are also. We're technically a Southern state. I mean, I grew up in North Carolina, Georgia. Yeah, Georgia. Biscuits and gravy. Oh, and my dad went to Minnesota and asked for biscuits and gravy somewhere, and they did not know what the fuck he was talking about. What? Yeah. How about this one for y'all? Since you I believe like, it was Minnesota. It might have been. How, how do you not know Minnesota? Since, since you want to bring up Southern food, have either of you ever had boiled peanuts? No. Boiled peanuts. Boiled, boiled peanuts. peanuts. I think I have. You have? I think so. I don't like nuts. Have you ever had a boiled peanut? No. It's you different. might. I have had praline pecans, so, though, and that is definitely... Boiled peanuts, you can get Cajun boiled peanuts, normal boiled peanuts, blah, 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 blah. They boil them long enough that the consistency of the peanut... You said Cajun and we're good. It almost... That's all I needed to know. It gets a really strong umami flavor the longer it cooks, and it gets super soft. It it, it gives almost the same... Uh, not not flavor pea. profile, but it... Okay. Like that softness of the chickpea where it's just kind of... It gets almost like mushy. the... Yes, but it almost gets the meatiness of, like, brisket Weird. out of a peanut. Yeah. Oh, my word. We're going to have another food episode. Um, I will make boiled peanuts tonight. Y'all let me know. I am about it. So, <laughs> um, scaleage. So, well, I would just say, hey, we didn't really talk about this. All we said is, oh, we're all now uh, part of the Spotted Cow fandom. But uh, it's a bin it's a, part. Bin part. Bin part. Um, <laughs> I'm a recent convert now. Um, welcome. One day. Glad I to have you. Glad to, thank glad you, to, thank glad, you for having me. Glad to have you both, as a matter yeah, of fact. Thank you for having me. I would have to say it's a six. Six yeah, or it's a, seven. It's a six or a seven. Like, I would actually want to seek this out. Like, I have if family had reunions <laughs> up in Wisconsin and Minnesota, so I'm like, I would purposely, like, if I'm driving all the way up there for a family reunion, Stop by just pop over the border and grab me some spotted cow, you know, maybe to I'm, take home. Maybe I'm feeling nice, but I honestly have to give it about an eight. It, is. it reminds me of it. It gives for, you you have memories though. Yes, but just the flavor profile oh. alone, I like it about as much as I like Youngling. And if I've there was a place y- close that I could get Youngling, I would drink that as my daily. If I could Somebody get this send close, I would drink this as my daily. Somebody send us some some Youngling. This is uh, this is I was, uh, very pleasantly surprised. Um, yeah, now I like as come like a. You know, not fancy beer, like... Yeah. Yeah, I'm, mean, like, top of the list for me, I'm like... Yeah, it's up there. They yeah. should really ship it, outside of they Wisconsin. They should ship out. <laughs> I think there is a market for shipping this outside of Wisconsin. You know, take it slowly. Um, start with Missouri, please. Uh, start with a state or two over. 
just you know. Let's send it to fucking Illinois. I'll drive. I don't care. About, or like <laughs> Iowa, Nebraska. Hit, hit Iowa, Iowa, Nebraska. Yeah. I, I have family in Iowa. I have family in Iowa. Nebraska. I like I'm Iowa, so awesome. Nebraska for me though. It's well, Nebraska. There's some okay, history. Well, there. There's, there's some history. But if we can, if we wish for Illinois to get it, we can hope for the, the southern tip of Illinois yes. to be supplied, which is a two-hour drive you know, versus I got three say, hours. I got friends right outside of Pontiac, Illinois, that are more than willing to come down here to kick it to shoot pool, and I'm sure they bring us some. Uh, well, right now, just so you know, if you didn't know, Bill oh, is yeah, close. Is close. Luckily, I go to Mo River Pub and Pool because it's an older crowd. I don't have to deal with the college students. Which, if you're college students, that's fine, but. You get a bad I'm, name from the shitty ones. I Sorry. Would, I'm I'm much more comfortable drinking my old man beer around old men in a pool hall that Cody Jinks wrote a song about, if either of y'all ever heard Hippies and Cowboys. It's well, if you've ever heard the song, yeah, you'll under, you'll hippies, understand so. exactly how that bar is. Nothing but old men shooting pool, you know everybody. It's marvelous. Yeah, everyone knows you. We should go, actually. I mean, is it like Cheers, where everybody knows your name? Kind of, yes, actually. Hey, anyway, that, we will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, guys. Keep on drinking. And drink responsibly. Please, please drink, drink responsibly. Drink responsibly.